So I watched a video about <clears throat> someone giving advice in regards to talking to the camera. So I'm going to try it. Anyway, I want to talk about R&B, Copenhagen, and I also want to talk about the whole Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Future, Metro, Rose, Beef, Weekend, all that stuff. But yeah, yesterday, listen, I wish you were there. Copenhagen was lit, 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 lit. As a debut, it was definitely up there, definitely up there. And remember, when we go to these cities, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. And obviously, we have um, previous events to kind of go by and um, give us like a inkling or indication as to what it might be like. But remember, with every city, the people are different. You just don't know what vibe it's going to um, attract or bring. But it's if it felt like they've been waiting a long time. Some of the things I was hearing yesterday in regards to like they've pretty much never had an event like this in Copenhagen. So making the decision to come here was... So making the decision to come here was... I felt the love yesterday, felt the appreciation. I'm pretty sure Chucky, Matthew felt it as well. Dan, it was, man, it was good. Very, very good. Very, very good. We're definitely, definitely going to come back. But at the event, I get a notification on my phone. Actually, before the event, sorry. So we went to go eat at one banging spot. An African restaurant called Sasa. This is where I, I saw fufu on the menu, but apparently they don't make fufu on Saturday. So that's definitely what I was going to order. But I opted for the peanut stew, chicken and jello fries. Just thinking about it now, I'm hungry. But um, yeah, so as we're going back to the hotel from that, because obviously we had to go freshen up our mouths and that peanut stew can be a bit harsh before a dance. I get a notification that, yo, Drake has dropped his reply. So I'm playing the reply in the taxi on the way to the event. But it's sounding very AI-ish. If you listen to the first one, the reference one, apparently, like you could tell that some of the bars weren't sitting on the beat properly. The beat was sick, though. I do think by the time the final one came out, the, if, you listen, if you've listened to the reference one, the get money. I think he should have left that in there. That was cold. But anyway, those who are old school know where that get money comes from. But anyway, so we're listening to that on the way to the event. And sorry, my phone's going off. We listened to that on the way to the event and um, that is, it was hitting, but it wasn't hitting because I wasn't sure it was real. So I ended up locking off after two minutes, got into the event, enjoyed the event. And then like an hour before the ending of the event, get another notification. Yo, the real one's dropped. So literally, my mind, yeah, just wants to end this event and go back to the hotel to listen to this track. I didn't want to hear it on my phone, voice note, like, mm -mm. I wanted to hear it on my laptop in my hotel, you know what I'm saying? So that's what was on my mind, but obviously I had to keep up with the appearances, went to the after party, and shout out all the man that was um, in attendance though. Not gonna say no names, but you know who you are. I like, on a side note, love man. Like, knowing that my man them travel, I'm going to these different cities and my boys are with me, it's a great feeling, trust me. So, I just like you man, I won't lie to you, I've already done my job with R&B, this after party, as, as good as it is, <laughs> I need to cut. So I ended up cutting, went to get food, go back to the hotel, and I literally pressed play. One second. There's no way. I have to. Come on, man. What I don't like is, yeah, just because you're a fan of Drake, there's people out there that are like, ah, oh, why are you such a fan of Drake? But if the guy can rap, like, sit, what, not the whole industry, but pretty much, listen, Metro Boomin, Future, Weekend, Travis Scott, Nav, French Montana, Rick Ross, Kendrick, who else? Did I mention The Weeknd? Tyler, um, the creator, ASAP Rocky. Whoever else there is, yeah? I've all sent for this guy or sent a comment about this guy in the past two weeks, maybe in a week. And he's decided to come back at all of them. Come on, man. Put respect on my guy, man. I don't understand. Bam! The first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Bam. Pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Listen, another thing, yeah? This is round one. This is not... I don't think this is the final This, And also, a lot of bars will go over people's heads. I'm into battle rap, as you know. So, I catch certain bars and I also do extensive research to figure out what he means with certain lines. And trust me, this, this ain't like... Ain't like a lot of people are in the studio right now. A lot of people are in the studio right now thinking, hmm, Rick Ross dropped one in two hours. They're moving like chip. Rick Ross said, Yo, here's my one. With the Rick Ross one, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, 
Marv said it's garbage. I won't go that far, but it's not hitting like this one. No way. I'm the hit maker, y'all the pand on. Backstage in my city, it was friends home. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man's on? Come on, man. Remember Kendrick's short? Let me, let me Google Kendrick's hype. Kendrick Lamar. Uh, just give it to me in meters. Allow giving it to me, though. <laughs> Jesus. In feet. He's 5'4! <laughs> Drake, you cheeky. Said so these man are in the studio with a picture of him on the wall, you know. And then they start recording. <laughs> Drop and give me 50, that's like some push ups. That is cheeky, bro. That means when I make 100 pounds, I've got the next man telling me, yo, big man, drop, give me 50 pound. Oh, pig. Uh, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You, you see Drake, yeah? He does these things, yeah, where like he makes it sound like he's corny. But he gets direct to the point. And the reason why I say that is because if you listen to The Send on the weekend, yeah? The send on the album, the weekend send, yeah. Weekend literally said their shooters are making TikToks. And I was listening to that and I'm like, Big Weekend is using TikTok as a diss. So when people say, ah, oh, this is childish, no, this is the game we're playing. This is the game we're playing. There's rules and certain men don't like certain things, certain men do certain things. I hear it. But your shooters who you claim are skeng man. I'm making TikToks. The weekend said that. The week weekend's not involved in none of this. But this is what he's saying. Come on, man. Do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. We won't fight, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Obviously, Kendrick is everyone's favorite artistic artist, the hip hop purist. Man's making tunes with Maroon 5 and Taylor Swift. He's like, is that what you gotta do to make peas, yeah? Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. Listen. Hey. Wait, wait, I found something online, yeah? I gotta read this out. So that Prince Michael bar, Kendrick started it. I can't remember what Kendrick said on his one. But, basically, everyone knows Mike is the king of pop. Everyone knows the prince is the son to the king. And everyone knows the name of Michael's son is Prince. Drake made three times four, making Kendrick drop and give him 50. So basically, Drake made Drake's son three times before turning him to drop and give me 50. Oh my God. It's, it, yeah, it's rough. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. All right, I'm stopping there, man. Man said Metro, the guy who thinks he's the puppet behind everything. Man said, shut your ass up and go make some drums, nigga. <laughs> it's so cheeky. Man said, shut your ass up. And go make some drums. <laughs> no, man. Anyway, I say that to say this. It's exciting again, man. Exciting again. We're all looking forward to what everyone else has to say now. And the, the ball's in Kendrick's court now. The ball is in Kendrick's court. Kendrick's side of the field. It sounds you, nigga. And remember, when I talk about Drake, it doesn't mean I'm not a Kendrick fan. I am a Kendrick fan. Kendrick can rap. I'm actually excited to hear what Kendrick decides to deliver. I'm scared for Drake because Kendrick can rap. But we'll see. Shout out you lot. Supporting the thing. Like I said, I'm just going to keep trying to be more consistent on this because I know I keep... I am saying I am and then two weeks go by and I haven't edited a video. And blah, 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 blah. I'm going to try. This one, I'm literally going to chop up the fillers. I'm just going to throw it on my YouTube and throw it on my Insta and throw it on my Snap. And then we'll just start from there. So please hold me accountable. Message me. Let me know. Bro, this has happened. Talk about it. And I will. I need you lot's help too. You know what I mean? I need that little kick up the backside, as they like to say. But yeah, man. It's your boy Taser Black. Peace.